the book that the principal judge is holding is the book of civil registration. A high court has been commissioned in Karamoja sub-region in Moroto municipality to serve the nine districts on the theme strategies and mechanisms for improving physical access to justice. It is being succeeded by the chief magistrate of Moroto and there is the magistrate grade one also there. Uh, Kabong magistrate grade one court is operational, which has the magistrate and uh, some support staff. We have a beam court which is operational, which has the magistrate and support staff. There is a Modat Magistrate Grade 1 Court, uh, Nabila Tuk Magistrate's Court is a graduated court, but there is no judicial officer yet posted there. Uh, I'm sure the principal judge will give us a promise to post uh, a magistrate there. And also the same applies to the Karenga Magistrate's Court. My Karenga Magistrate's Court the premises is already, uh, the premises is being uh, constructed, so we need a magistrate there. So in total we have a staffing of judicial officers and non-judicial officers in the whole circuit 31. That's quite uh, a small number, so there's uh, a staffing gap there. But we, we are promised that we shall have the staff posted here. The process is ongoing. The, the workload at the court, uh, we have a total of 1,379 cases pending in the high court and the Magistrates courts have just mentioned. Out of that, we have 373 civil cases with 38 cases forming backlog, while 1,004 cases are criminal with only 40 cases being backlog. The High Court Circuit today is yet another fulfillment of the pledge we have made to the public to ensure that justice is accessible to all. We have in the past few months been able to personalize other High Court Circuits across the country. As principal judge, I, I made it one of my key priorities to ensure that the High Court is easily accessed by all our people. Moroto High Court circuit covers very many districts, which I'm not going to mention, I think they have already mentioned them. And uh, I know you have been traveling to Soroti. When I look at the distance from here to Soroti, and you imagine someone from Kabong or from Kaenga uh, traveling to Soroti, both as a witness or as a litigant, then you can see how difficult it has been for an ordinary person in Karamoja to go and have the, his or her cases determined in Soroti. So uh, this is a milestone uh, which we think should help the ordinary person. To serve you even better, the judiciary has embarked on a transformation agenda to provide ways on how to fully enhance access to justice for all by doing the following. One, establishing more courts across the country. We are committed to bring courts nearer to the people, beginning with establishing a functioning magistrate grade one court at every constituency level. So honorable members, as you, as you plan, Make sure that if, when I am asking for land here, at your constituency, you are also looking at where we are going to establish a grade one court. Because we want, we want to have uh, justice as close to the people as possible. We have already finished the gazetting of uh, those courts. I'm sure you were, you were, you were consulted. I think the gazette will come out very soon. You were consulted on where those courts should be located. Uh, and, but if you think that the, those courts are, the, the places we are going to gazette are not proper, then you can also get back to us, we can issue a supplementary gazette. Uh, changing some of the courts from some places to others, depending on, on the, the place. But I'm sure you were consulted as honorable members, the local governments were consulted. I hope we did a good job. We will see what we will, pull, what we will put out. Because we we approved those court circuits, so, so those courts in the judiciary council uh, last month, and I'm sure uh, when we put it out, it will all be fine. So that means that at every constituency, we shall have a great one. We shall have a chief magistrate court at every district level. But before the modern judicial systems, how did Karamoja administer the justice? Back to the traditional justice of Karamoja. You know, one of the problems is that 
people don't know that we have a Karamoja traditional justice system where there are laws, even sentences are determined. For example, in Uganda, today they say that adultery is not an offense. In Karamoja, it's, like, it's as good as a murder. The same person who kills somebody is equal to the same person who commits adultery. Both of them have to pay six takeouts or be killed. Murder and adultery are the same. So the same sentence stands. For this girl, like anti-homosexuality, they have a thing. They have a solution here. They get the mingle stick, push through your hands, cut it, and that is it, you go. We have laws on the environment. We have laws on aspects. If you cut a tree in a cricket, that is a huge punishment. They will punish your parents, first of all, by making them kill a bull, and you also be punished. So on all aspect, aspects of Karamoja, in terms of tradition, if you kill a woman, for example, you pay 120 cows. But if you are fortunate to kill a man, you pay 60 cows. Recently, they said that they amend the resolution to say that men should be paid five cows because they are trouble causers. They are not going around looking for problems. We want law to be contextualized. The presence of judges and magistrates here, they should learn the context. Because as, as I said here before, here people are quick to confess and tell the truth. So why don't we take advantage of that? And the justice system that is more prevalent and is really the one that people believe here, the system of restorative justice. And that's what they believe in. If you have accepted you have done something wrong, say, what are you going to do? Do something, compensate me or do something, and that's the end. We believe in forgiveness, but the court doesn't forgive. If you say, oh, it is true, I did it, they say, okay, you have saved court time. And they still arrest you and keep you in prison. Our people don't know, don't understand that when they confess, they expect to be forgiven, they expect to pay something in order to for the what he has done. So that's the difference. And we must promote both traditional justice systems within the context of other systems that we have adopted from the Western world. Thank, Thank you so much. The DPP, Jane Francis Abodo, says there are gaps in accessing justice in Karamoja. There is being run by four prosecutors from the office of the DPP. The resident judge was talking about 31 judicial officers. So these four are actually running between the 31 judicial officers. So are we really doing justice? So I want to, to uh, thank you so much. Thank you. This one, Mans Kotido, this one, Nakapripirit, Kabong, and then Moroto. Is the, the, the one with the regional officer is also the resident senior state attorney at the same time. And is the principal judge, Flavian Nzeja, explains judiciary's efforts to help people of Karamoja access justice. The distance from Kabong are uh, still coming to to Moroto here, it is still very far. Even by the way, Kodido, coming from Kodido up to here is also a long distance. So we think that if we establish a high court in Kodido, it will get up for the northern part. And then in the future, we can then think of uh, the farther south. Uh, for example, uh, I, I know maybe the, the central press would be like a period, but the honorable uh, member, I know that, that the Ratuk is also a possibility. So depending on, 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 on where you call this as the establish that high court circuit, that's what we shall do. But we will start with the Moroto first, and then uh, we shall look at the, any other place in the, in the further south next. In addition, we shall establish a regional court of appeal. Now that is still a point of a debate. Now that, that comes to what I was telling the local leaders. When we are planning these things, we look at who has given us land. So if we are establishing a regional court, we say, by the way, where do we have enough land? Now, if it is tomorrow, the way we have enough land, that's why we will say, hey, by the way, I, I think we can do this in Moroto. Uh, but if Soroto has given us enough land, then we will say, oh, by the way, I think we don't have enough land, so why don't we establish it in Soroto? So it's a, it's a balancing act. Depending on, on you, you know, in, in, in church, the, the, my, Lord, my Lord, the bishops, you are here, uh, I think even in the Bible, they say God helps those who help themselves. So, so if you do, if you balance well, then we might establish it here, but it depending on the circumstances. Uh, so, of course, Zeja says there is a need to incorporate traditional ways of administering justice. The traditional justice system which can actually be improved and uh, uh, we have had challenges of getting witnesses from Karamoja here. What happens is that 
uh, other than the distance of course traveling from here to Sorodi, where you would need maybe like three days if you are coming from Kabong or Karenga. Now a, a, a peasant spending three days to go to Sorodi to testify and is going to abandon his, his or her animals for three days just to give evidence. You can know why they cannot do it. And I would also not do it if I was in, in Karenga and you are calling me to spend three days on the, on the way to testify against the person. So, bringing these substances closer to the people is going to change that. Yeah, but the, also the, the other aspect of it is that when these, these offenses occur, this is a matter has taken place. The families do meet under their traditional justice system and solve their issues. You, you give 60 cows, or if, if uh, I, 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 today I've even known the, the, the specifics. So the other part of the issues, if it's a woman, I think 120. So they settle their issues. Now for you here in the court, you are waiting for them to come and testify. And yet they have already solved their case. Down there in the village. So we must find a way of, uh, you know, sensitizing the, even the judicial officers. To know that if a matter has come and someone comes and this class to you that these people settled back home, uh, then you also maybe find a way of, uh, of sorting them either by putting back in it and you let the, you let the matters rest. Otherwise, you, you, will, you will adjourn the matter. Meanwhile, the person is here in prison. You adjourn the matter to another session. Another session, you are still not going to get the same witnesses because they settled it themselves. So I think, as he suggested, we need sensitization of the judicial officers that operate in this area. That will help you to solve land matters because some of the land matters, you may come here, the people can destroy 100, 100 years. You just get this elder who was here and you send the people to him and within five minutes, they are sorted. So, so these are things we need to bring within our traditional justice system and then incorporate it into the, into the, the, the I don't call it the modern, it's not the modern, actually that is the borrowed traditional justice system. And I know there is a project by him which is trying to codify these traditional justice systems and um, I happen to be part of it. So we want to look at this traditional justice system and see how we can bring them into the, 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 the normal justice system. Uh, I know uh, when, you, when you speak, all the people are already hungry. This is the first time the High Court has been established in Karamoja region. Residents have been receiving High Court services in Soroti, about 160 kilometers away. Mutonyi Helda and Maureen Iga, UBC. <laughs> Equality, 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 equality,